Hi, it's Jackie. Hi, it's Katie. Hi, I'm Sonia. Hi, it's Calvin. Hi, my name is Elisa. Hi, it's Brandon from YP Next Home, and today I'm talking to you about how I celebrate the holidays in my home. In Roncesvalles. Pickering and Ajax. In Unionville. In Scarborough. In Leslieville. In Moncton. Every year I host a Christmas party at my apartment and we gather everybody and move all my furniture out so that there's enough space to host everybody and everybody brings something different to eat. Every year we rent a big hall and about a hundred of us, we go there, have a potluck. It's basically just a big party. Typically a Bistaldo family Christmas is filled with a lot of things. A lot of laughter, uh, a lot of love, but definitely a lot of arguments and fights. But most importantly, we spend it together, always. So usually we all get together and uh, there's usually a lot of good food, drinks, um, the kids, opening presents. Um, it's always like a treat to watch them. We always go out for a walk and we look for um, Rudolph in the sky. And then we come back and we do this other tradition that we have that's called Christmas baskets. A lot of sweet bread, which is a really sugary kind of baked uh, bread, I guess, with raisins and coconut in it. So my husband and I are different backgrounds. And instead of going with one or the other, we agreed that we would kind of mix the two and give our two boys the best of both worlds. So we don't celebrate Christmas and we don't celebrate Hanukkah. We celebrate Christmaka. Oxtail and jerk chicken and ackee and saltfish. I'll be honest, I was kind of naughty in the past. I would sort of sneak and open presents before my parents gave them to me. Sister waking me up at 5 a.m. losing it because she was 100% convinced that she had seen Santa Claus. I remember being in bed on Christmas Eve and not being able to sleep and then hearing like a knee crack as if someone was in my room. And I remember being so scared and so excited because I knew that it was Santa Claus, but I had the covers over my head and I couldn't look because I didn't want to know. My brother and I used to be part of a program where we would learn a little bit about the holidays and we would do a performance. I have this on film and it's basically my mom being repeatedly warned by everyone in my family not to go and get this present because she's going to knock over the tree. Um, and it's almost in slow motion, I can remember this, but her going behind the tree and the entire tree just falling on my sister. <laughs> trying to squeeze in as many families as possible in a very short period of time. Crowding at the mall, um, but luckily everything's online now, so online shopping's the way to go. Just the stress of gathering all the presents and, you know, going over budget and then having to wrap everything last minute. Being in shopping malls is my, I get anxiety attacks being around those groups of people. It's not fun. I try to go very early in the morning and just get it done in like an hour, army, military style. The reason why I believe in Santa Claus is because my mom would be mad if I didn't. I was never really raised to believe in Santa Claus, so I just knew that my parents got me gifts and stuff. We would set up a bed in my parents' bedroom because we were super scared of Santa. So um, we thought it was really creepy that a man came through our fireplace and gave us presents. I do not believe in Santa Claus because some of my oldest memories are my parents asking me what I'd like for Christmas. The magic behind Santa Claus is definitely real. You're a mean one. I am Mr. definitely Grinch. not a Grinch because I love Christmas time. And I don't think I know anyone that's a Grinch, but I do know people that like to act like they are a little bit sometimes, even though I know they secretly like the holidays. I do know some people who are sort of Grinches. They're, they're not very festive. Uh, they have a lot of, you know, complaints about the holidays. I do know one neighbor that, for some reason or other, really hates our Christmas lights. But other than that, not too many Grinches. Home Alone? Uh, one and two, and um, Santa Claus. Uh, a Christmas Story and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Home Alone, or it's tied with The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Hands down, Home Alone. Oh, my favorite holiday movie is The Sound of Music. I hate musicals, except for The Sound of Music. Julie Andrews does this to me every time. Listen, because he's the only one I can remember in The Santa Claus. I would be Rudolph because he's the best one of all. Rudolph, just because he seems to be the coolest, the most popular, uh, the leader of the group. Blitzen, uh, A, because it's the only reindeer besides Rudolph I can really remember, and B, because he sounds like he is the life of the party. 
Yeah, I think it would be Rudolph. <laughs> oh man. Um, definitely Rudolph. <laughs> I think that's everyone's choice, right?